So today we're going to do a really fun technique and we're going to use this cool product called String Gel, which is from Liquitex. And if you can see, it's kind of soupy, it runs real easy. And that's why it's so perfect for this technique where we're going to take it and I've put some into these little plastic cups and we're going to add a little paint to it so that we can color this gel. And by doing that, you'll be able to dribble it for lack of a better <laughs> word, around your piece of chipboard. And you can mix this with anything you like. I just have a little palette knife here. So I've just put a few drops in there, mixed it around until you have your color mixed. And it doesn't take a lot, okay? Now, the thicker your paint is, it may make it a little thick. So think about that as you're doing this project. You know, if you have like an older paint, it's going to be a little thicker. So it doesn't really matter. It's just something to consider. So I'm doing two colors of blue and a light blue and a little bit darker to go with my chipboard. So this one, I, I've just added a few drops as well. Mixing it on in. Now, one of the tricks I found with this is that when you go to create your strings, chances are the very first drip is going to be a big drip big and glob. big globs, <laughs> which is what, which is not what you're going for. So sometimes it's good to take it and let it drip onto a piece of saran wrap or something else first. So the big drip doesn't go on your actual piece that you're working on. So here I'm tilting my cup and it's starting to run as you can see. Now the first drop is going to be a little blop. But after that, I've got this really cool, stringy, kind of fun paint that you just move around and create really cool texture. Now this will dry exactly how you see it right now. It's not going to run on you. It just dries exactly the way you put it on to whatever piece you're using. So. You know, just be random with it because it's kind of like reminds me of Jackson, Jackson. Pollock. Exactly. Action painting. Exactly. Yeah. So you can do anything, any kind of freeform thing. So here I am taking my initial drip and bringing it. These are really close, these colors, so you probably will not be able to see the difference. But as you can see, you can do random dashes and, and you can go and do little spirals. Yeah, I think you could. You could plan it a little bit, but a little. But you gotta. <laughs> you have to be willing to accept that the paint is going to also have a mind of its own. Exactly. <laughs> so just have fun with it and let your imagination go. Mm -hmm.